Hey, hey, this is OK, OK. Back with another video. I'm working on Tales from the Crypt Keeper Halloween Edition 2017. You can see here the previous video's inking. Uh, I just did this around here and then darkened it up later. Uh, we still have a little more to do. Um, I'm going to experiment with the bushes, kind of how I want them to turn out. But tonight, I'm doing more of a how-to instructional-based video uh, drawing comics digitally in Photoshop. Uh, tonight I was going to focus a little bit on how to do boxes. Uh, you can see here I've got you know these boxes that help uh, you know define the panels. Um, there's kind of a few different ways to do these. The way I like to do them is for my planning stages I will do a panel down here at the very bottom I've got a white background, so if I turn it all off, you can see that there's a white background and then there's boxes on top of it. What I like to do is for these beginning stages, uh, when I'm kind of laying everything out, penciling it and all that, um, I get a square shaped tool, um, this tool right here, and I just simply put a square down where the panel is going to go. Um, I've uh, since kind of perfected that method and uh, what you would do is draw a big square and if I'm going to be doing a you know a panel right there I'll do that and I'll do this just cutting away what I don't want and that way um, I don't have to go back here and make sure all these lines are uh, real neat and tidy and perfect if I'm cutting away from one square all these uh, cuts are going to be, you know, the same. Uh, you know, you I won't have to make sure this one goes down this far and this one matches the height. You could also do that if you use uh, like rulers. Let me see here. Let me get the rulers down. If you make these things and you add snap to it, uh, you'll draw boxes and that kind of thing. Uh, I don't know if you have experience with Photoshop, but uh, you'll go to view and you'll add rulers, check rulers so you can see those and you just, um, let's see if you can see this over here, the ruler, you'll just put click and drag. And I'm holding down on this pen. You can drag these, uh, you know, these, uh, whatever they call it, guides up and down. And then you can turn them off by hitting rulers again, and then view, show, uh, guides. We'll take the guides off because I don't use them. So um, I'm going to go up here and just undo all that uh, stuff I showed you. Uh, go back to the original. So that's how I do it. I start out by doing this boxes layer over here. Uh, I add stroke to it, a pretty heavy stroke. I've got eight on here. It'll differ depending on your image size or canvas size, that kind of thing. Um, I've got an 8, so it gives a pretty thick uh, line right there. Um, and then I do a secondary when I'm inking. I want these boxes to be part of the ink. And if they're in boxes, then you can't do that. So what I do is I lower the opacity down and I'll come back here and I'll do a path. Uh, let me show you that right down here. Uh, I've got this path chosen instead of pixels. I'll choose pixels when I'm doing the preliminary boxes and then I'll change it to path. Now that what that does is it does kind of these, uh, these uh, lines that are nothing, but what you do uh, is you would hit stroke path. Again, I've picked this uh, little cursor tool. You can also use the pen tool. Uh, you right click and you would hit stroke path. And what the stroke path is going to do is if you select it, you'll have to kind of do this selection. I'm going to move this, uh, nudge it. I'm nudging it with the keyboard arrows. I just hit one over because it's really close. You can zoom in and get it uh, real close um, or exact, uh, but close is close enough. So what you would do is you would use this cursor tool, hit stroke path, 
bring this over here. I'm selecting brush and then you would hit OK. But before I do, I need to make sure that my brush is at 8 pixels. So I'm going to do 8. See it's at 8 there. And now I'm going to stroke path. I'm not stimulating pressure. Oh, I did do it on the wrong um, layer though. I've got a layer over here on above my ink layer. Uh, it's called box lines. Uh, we'll just do that again. There we go. And you can see that the box line came out perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and take off that first so you can see it more clearly. Uh, I'm going to redo it basically. Stroke path. All right. So now we have a very uh, well-defined part of the ink once I merge the two layers. Uh, in a minute I will create a group. I'll put all these in a group and I'll hit uh, merge the group and then when I select up here it only could, it's all contained within that panel. Um, but I don't want to do that yet because I haven't finished all the boxes. Okay, so next off I would go to the next panel I would select box lines. This properties box is going to keep popping up. Uh, just exit out of it if you don't want to see it. And you would make another box just like that. And then you're going to hit, you're going to make sure you're on box lines. And then you're going to hit stroke path once again. It's going to use your brush tool as the, um, as the outlining tool. You can also change your brush and you'll get a different uh, looking uh, outline so for instance just out of curiosity we'll show you what this uh, paintbrush looks like it's going to be a giant uh, giant mess but you can see it gives you the strange kind of outline because it's a not a precise brush you get that nice little uh, blending tool right there which might be uh, nice to use if you're looking for something different all right, so experiment with the different brushes if you're looking for uh, something very endy. Um, and uh, let's see, what would be the next step? Um, merging these boxes with the ink. That would be the next step. Um, and again, we worked from a bottom layer. I used this square, what is it called? Rectangle tool. And I made these boxes white with a stroke property layer style and that stroke is 8 on this one um, and then I went back and I kind of redid it with uh, this path instead of pixel pixels path or shape you want path when you're doing the inking of it we'll do one more just for a little demonstration all right so I select it right there bring it down and then I make sure I've got the right brush. I've got eight saved because I use it a lot. And then I'll go up to my box lines layer. And now stroke path. Uh, what happened? Oh, it was white. So it did a stroke in white. That's what the problem was. So make sure black is the foreground color. Stroke it one more time. <laughs> that sounds like a song. Stroke it one more time. All right, now we got our box outline and again once we're done with all our boxes we'll put all the inking and the box lines in a group I'll merge them together and then we have oh 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 one more step before merging what I do is I select uh, the magic wand tool and the box lines layer and you can select that uh, select the in-between space because a lot of times you'll um, be drawing and you'll accidentally draw outside the lines a little bit. And if you want that to be super clean, which you do, uh, you can just select the space between the box lines, hit that expand, expand the selection by one or two pixels. I'll do two pixels. And then you'll get to your ink layer and just cut or hit delete. Um, and it will clear out every little stroke that went over the lines. Uh, like you see right here, this would be cut. Whoops, let's, uh, let's just, uh, for the sake of experimentation, do that. I've got this selected because it's not in a box yet. 
So uh, we're going to see this disappear, but um, any, anyways, let's do it. See, it got rid of that little line, and I'm sure there was a few more spots where I went a little bit over. And that's just the quickest way to get rid of all your extra uh, mistakes. Um, again, there are no mistakes. There's only happy accidents, but <laughs> uh, only the one, only the lines that extend past your box lines that you don't want in the finished product. You want it to be a clean finished product, and that's the quickest way to get there. All right. Um, let's see. I also cleared that, and I don't want to do that. So. Uh, you see it got rid of that, but I'm going to come back later and I'm going to figure something else out with this panel. Maybe I'll move some of this over here. I don't know, but I don't want to delete it yet. It's still good. It's still good work. All right. So, um, uh, you'll, I usually work with two, maybe three layers for inking. Um, my box lines, my ink, and some shading if I want to uh, black stuff in. I'm not sure if I want to keep it in the final product. It allows me to keep that stuff out. Uh, like if I turned it off, hold on, if I turned that off, uh, if I'm in the coloring um, layer, then I can decide if I want to just color it or if I want it to be inked and just black. Uh, yeah, but that's, that is my little drawing how-to video on creating box lines and panel uh, boundaries, outlines, that kind of thing. And this is Tales from Crib Keeper Halloween Edition 2017. Um, if you'd like to see more uh, how-to videos and to keep up to date with what's going on with OK, OK, OK comics, uh, please subscribe, hit that like button to see more videos like this, and I am okay, 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 okay. I will see you later.